Hello everybody. David Brennan pointed me to one of his very many Wings 3D tutorials and asked how I would approach this with Modo. Now, Wings 3D is an open source software which is free. It is a polygon modeler like, uh, like Modo but the philosophy behind it is completely different. While Modo is quite happy with floating polygons, Wings always produces solids. So the approach in uh, Modo is completely different than it is in Wings. If you really want to know what I'm talking about, then please go and have a look at David's tutorial the link to his channel and the link to this particular uh, tutorial are in the description. So let's start. I will not go as far as David did, but I will do something which is printable on a 3D printer. So let's go to Modo and I start with a cube, control click on here and while still in vertex mode I select these vertices for later use then go to polygon mode select all these polygons and press the B key for bevel and without group polygons ticked I bevel this in about 400 millimeters and delete now I go back to vertex mode, the vertices are still selected and I can bevel this with a round level of zero by about 450 millimeters. Then with Alt 3 select this and delete. Now we must go to polygon thicken and then on the blue handle bring this in to maybe minus 300 millimeters. Now we must se separate one of these parts. There are several ways to do it and I think I overlooked one really good way because Modo is so good with the selections. Uh, I can press the up arrow key, shift up arrow twice, shift down arrow once, control X, control V and now we have separated this part from the rest. But I would like to show you another way which I just ignored so far which is very powerful and very useful as well. Sorry for my voice, I still have uh, my cold which has not yet gone away completely but it's getting better every day. Anyway, I select these edges here and these ones and these ones then go to edge split. Now it has split this exactly around the geometry and I can just delete and it's the same result as before. Now we need to make these perfect squares and for that I use Seneca Menars Shift F5 perfect circle script. The link is also in the description and if we only have four sides then the script will make perfect squares. So uh, it has done it. Next I will go to Action Center Local and press the E key. Let's see here and then I control rotate this 15, 30, 45 degrees like so. And now we can duplicate this geometry. 3, control copy, control V, E key, but around action center origin. Then control rotate it 
by minus 180 degrees. Select the second one, control copy, control V, E key, control rotate it 90 degrees, then drop the tool, control copy, control V, E key, this time around the Y axis by 90 degrees. And now we can go to vertex, uh, merge, automatic, probably not fixed, one millimeter, that's good. It doesn't look pretty, but I press the D key once and then it starts to take the shape we are after. In top view, I select these edges here and these ones and this one, press the L key and we could use these edges now and do all sorts of nice things with them but as I said I want to make this printable with my 3D printer and this is why I'm not going as far as David did in his tutorial. So I bevel this edge with a round level of zero, bevel it quite a bit, maybe 40 millimeters. Then Alt 3 again B again and bevel it in on the blue handle but with uh, group polygons active and I also go in by minus 40 millimeters. Then on the red handle a bit maybe min uh, 20, 20 millimeters. Good. Now we could assign materials but since I will uh, not uh, render it, I don't do it. So I go back to edge mode and you see the edges are still selected. I bevel them again, this time with the square option um, and bevel it in a bit, then press the D key once again and subdivide it and here is our finished model which looks quite nice I made quite a big one it had uh, 10 centimeters and it was printing for three and a half hours and it looks very pretty you can do all sorts of things with this now as a starting shape I will stop here and uh, I really think when you want to know what approach has been used by David, have a look at his, uh, at his uh, video, have a look at his channel. It is really a price channel, but if you search in YouTube for David Brennan wings, then you get uh, very many of his Wings 3D tutorials. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.